Good morning, class. I had a couple of questions on uh, the first homework, or the homework three on 11.3. Um, I had questions on number two, and I had questions on number four. Uh, let's proceed. Uh, let's look at number two. All right. Hold on. Okay, here we got number two. What is the area of this composite figure? All right, so what do I see here? I have a rectangle. And I have two half circles, which look to me will be one full circle. All right, so we're looking at area of a circle. Okay. I R squared. So I need to find out what the radius is. And then we have area of a rectangle, which is base times height. All right, so we're looking at this distance right here is 28. That means that right here, this has to be 14, and this has to be 14. So... If we're looking at that, guess what my radius is? If this full thing is 14, my radius is going to be 7. So, I'm only going to set it up for you. You can figure out the rest. Or actually, I can do it for you. So, it's pi times 7 squared. All right. We'll do this in a minute. Now, because this is 7 right here, that means that this is also 7. So if the whole thing is 24, then that means that this piece right here has to be 17. So, my base and my height. So we have 28 times 17. So now let's work these out. And if you don't have a scientific calculator, um, you can just use your uh, value of. 3.14 okay for pi so we'll go 3.14 times 7 squared we're going to get 153.86 notice that's a full circle those are two halves so that if you put them together that's a full circle so this is the area of the circle now the area of the rectangle is just 28 times 17. 476. If I want to get both, then I'm going to combine them or add them. my total area of 629.86 meters squared. Moving on from number two, we move on to number four, which is also a good question. this, okay, I can see there is one, there's a half circle, so I'm going to go ahead and write the equations, so we have the area of a half circle, because it's a half circle, I'm going to have to multiply the area of the, the formula of a half circle, of a circle, and then 
let's see. Right here, we have 12.5, 12.5. So that tells me that this right here is a square. Okay? But because this is 12.5, this is also 12.5, so this is also 12.5. So I have actually a rectangle. You want to use the least amount of formulas so that you can get the entire thing. So I have a rectangle, uh, base times height, okay? This 12.5 here ends up being my radius for this half circle. So I can start filling this in. 1 half pi times 12.5. The rectangle ends up being, well, 12.5 and 12.5, that's 25, if you add them together, times 12.5. If I were to tear out that rectangle, okay, both 12.5s added together will equal 25, and then you have 12.5. That's how I got that. And lastly, we have a triangle. We have this triangle right here. Okay. Well, we seem to... We know that from here to here is 12.5. We know that this is also the radius, so this is also 12.5. So this piece right here is 25. So if I wanted to know this distance, I just do 55 minus 25. And what do you get when you do that? You get 30. So we have the height. Okay. Area of a triangle equals we'll do base we know the height is now. Well, it's this base height divided by two. So we know we're going to divide by two. We know the height is thirty. And the base, well, the base is this piece right here. Oh, well, guess what? It's also twelve point five. All three of these we will have to add together to get our final answer. So we do the first one, 1 half times 3.14 times 12.5 squared. Round to the nearest hundred, which is two decimal places, and you get 245.31. Then we move on to the area of the rectangle. It's just 25 times 12.5. That one ends up being 312.50. And then the last one is the triangle. So it's 12.5 times 30. Divided by 2. 106. Seven point one eighty seven point five fifty, and just like the other one, these three we will have to add for the total. So two forty five point thirty one plus three twelve point five plus one eighty seven point five. Seven hundred and forty five point thirty one millimeters squared. That is your answer. If you're interested in me out, you probably will have messages on the second page of this assignment.
I'm thinking number nine, but if you don't have any questions, that's fine. Uh, that's actually better. I'll look forward to agreeing those assignments. I've already posted your project assignments, those of you that have turned it in. Um, it's still open. Uh, it'll say it's late, but you can still submit them. Please do, so that it's a test It's a test grade. Um, the rest, if you have questions on 11.4, feel free to send those to me on private comments or in the front of the, uh, on the public comments of the assignment so that I can do another video or I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then look for 11.5, 11.6, and 11.7. All of these are doing are required using formulas. And it's how well can you use these to solve for these figures. We're going to 3D objects on the next lesson. All right. Hopefully you have a good day. Have a good day.